often stop and stare to appreciate the beauty of nature. But what makes nature so appealing to us? Although we're not aware of it, there are beautiful patterns and shapes everywhere in nature. These patterns and shapes are very mathematical, which means they follow certain rules and are predictable. I know that a math pattern is simply a repeated arrangement of anything. Numbers, shapes, colors, and so on. We could have number patterns, but we can also have patterns of other things too. Yeah, definitely. And we don't often think about geometry or mathematical patterns when we look at leaves or trees. Wow, so you're saying that we can see mathematics alive and kicking on a leaf? Exactly. Let's find a leaf here on the magnolia trees and try to identify some geometrical patterns that we can relate to other objects in nature. Let's do it. We can see math patterns and an interesting kind of geometry in the leaves of most of the trees around us. Let's look at the veins of different leaves. These are important because they are part of a plant's transport system and carry water and nutrients to all parts of the leaf. The veins form a branching pattern repeating over and over again. The first thing that I notice is the vein that goes straight down the middle of the leaf. This divides the leaf into two halves. Yes, I feel like I have seen this type of vein before on many other leaves. If you look very closely at the patterns on the leaves, you can see different veins branch off of smaller veins in a unique but similar pattern across the entire leaf. Some veins have a lot of sub-branches that branch off to other sub-branches and other veins don't. How many levels of sub-branches can you see? I think it's so cool how the pattern of the leaf veins repeats infinitely and also regardless of how zoomed in or zoomed out you are, it looks very similar to the whole image. This repeating pattern is actually a great example of a kind of geometry called fractals. A fractal is a geometric shape that can be split into very similar parts. So, a fractal shape is self-similar. In math, we say that objects are similar if they have the same shape, but they can be different sizes or scales. Self-similarity is when a shape is similar to another part of itself. Fractal geometry is actually a relatively new way of looking at the world and allows us to describe natural forms like coastlines, mountains, snowflakes, and this leaf right in front of us. Fractals today are being put to use in all sorts of important ways to prevent further climate change, cancer from gaining ground, or the geological process cycles associated with the San Andreas Fault. You can think of it as geometry and also as a really cool visual pattern that repeats infinitely. So we saw how a leaf contains interesting visual math patterns that repeat itself in the form of fractal. This is actually how a tree grows its branches. There's fractal patterns and fractal geometry in its branching patterns too. Notice how the branches get smaller and smaller as you move away from the trunk and how there are different levels to the branching patterns too. I'm gonna look at trees and leaves very differently now. Whether I'm in my home or making a salad in my backyard or even in my neighborhood park, I can find these fascinating fractals everywhere. That's right. Won't it be fun to notice the patterns on the wing of a moth or the vein patterns on a lettuce? Things I usually take for granted. I think it makes me enjoy what's around us in a whole new way.